Sanji from One Piece. Kind of an alternate version, just a different style drawing. Lots of people asking what's alt. It is just an alternate version of the character, drawn in a different way or like wearing different clothing. Or Let's give this a go. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. He's in profile, so I like to start with the nose when the characters are in profile. Set the point about here. We'll just come over to the right a little bit along this halfway line and then we will go down. You're, tr you're trying to like draw an L or like an upside down seven. You know, it's like an L going that way. This part, this line is longer than this line, right? So then nostril, just there. Now, normally we would see a forehead going this way. I will draw it in, but most of it's covered with the hair, but you normally see it go like, turn into like a Z shape, right? So it kind of like goes that way. Right? And maybe even more so, but we'll just do it that way because his hair covers most of this, right? So it comes to like his brow here. So if you know where the brow is, the eyebrow is along that brow. Now in this version of Sanji, you could give him that spiral um, sort of eyebrow or not. So I might do just like a teeny tiny one, just to make it kind of more slick, cool than the anime. So we'll go like a little, a little bit like that, right? We'll just start it there. And then this goes like real long and skinny. All the way back there, right? So that's basically his eyebrow. You can like thicken up the front a little bit. Right? And then his eye is just underneath that, like across from the this line here. Okay. Diagonal up this way, and then it's gonna like go across. So yeah, I have like a little spike coming out the front here. And then it kind of flicks up the back and then comes down to a spike in the corner. Like that. And then the bottom eyelid just kind of comes across here, up into the tear duct area there. Okay. So his iris and pupil, he's kind of like looking up from underneath this sort of top eyelid here, right? So you'll do a little sort of half circle just there, and then the pupil just there. Okay. And then we have eyelid lines just coming across. So you've got like a skinny one that seems to come across the top of his eyelash line here. And then there's like another one that comes like back from his eyebrow that way. And then we got like something underneath his eye here. So he's looking like real intense. So that's what we're going for in this one. So then the rest of that is like covered with his hair. So you don't see much else. So we go down and do the mouth. So the mouth is like a letter M, right? So it comes down like that. Then it goes in, out, in. See, it's like an M and you're following that line for the nose diagonally in here. So like you wanna end with the bottom lip kind of underneath, see the tear duct kind of area. And then the mouth, just like down that way, All right? Very serious. All right? And if you want like, you know, you could add like a little bit of a top lip line or something there and maybe a bottom lip line like that with a shadow underneath and then the chin down there curves around real pointy and then goes back for the jaw which just comes right underneath here like so Now about here, sort of where the where the ear would be or his sideburn is where the jaw kind of changes its direction. So it, like it doesn't keep going this way, it turns around a corner and goes up towards the earlobe like that, right? 
So you're changing about like level with the nose there and then up towards his ear. So we're gonna give this Sandy earrings. Right, so we're gonna give like a little loop earring just to do things a bit different. Sanji doesn't have earrings. No, he doesn't. I was like, wait, does he have earrings? He knows Oro does. And then the earlobe just comes out from there. And they have another little shiny jewel or something there. So in the ear, keeps going up, around. Your ears kind of line up with your eyebrows, right? Sort of thing, that area. So like if the, if the head was like straightened up, you know, the ears would line up with the eyebrow and the nose, sort of the bottom of the nose this way. Yeah, if you drew a straight line like across here. Roughly. Right, and then his ear lines inside. Easiest way to start is just like this letter J. And then you can add more. Or not. Some people don't. Just like that. Now, so cigarette hanging from his lip, right? Hanging from the front of his mouth. We just go this way. Coming out from that top lip. Just that cartoony kind of lit sort of cigarette situation. Of course, you'd raise the lip line that's underneath the cigarette there. And I might add some smoke in a while. So, so I say so a lot. So his fringe. Right, so see his eyebrow, from his eyebrow, it's about the same size as your nose, your forehead. So from the eyebrow up, you just have a little V there. Right? So that and that are about the same. Say like the whole length of his nose. It's about the size of your forehead, okay? And then his hairline, little Vs, just go that way and then that way. And then we have fringe that covers a lot of his hair. So he's got like, covers a lot of his face, sorry, a good bit. Big hair spikes, right? Both sides. And in the anime, they do like very cartoony sort of hair spikes. So like very thick, but we'll go like a bit more detailed and finer. And it comes down around his eye here. And anything you go over, you'll erase or co color over, obviously. And then they go in different directions, right? So from here, and then it crosses over this way, it goes over his ear a little bit. Here. And going up this way then. Right, so we're adding real fine sort of hair spikes. And you just sort of keep going with this. in his hair here which has all these textures then coming down his head and some texture under this all right and then the fringe on the other side hangs down real long so we've got more hair at the back but we just get the fringe parts in
And so all this do 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 do. Can't actually see his eyebrow now. That's okay. I am willing to sacrifice his eyebrow for the hair. So then this here. Loads more spikes all coming down this way. There's like a gap in the hair here. up around the top of the head I kind of like this loads of textures now and stuff on all this right and then he has some like shadowy sort of hair coming out from underneath his nose and the other side of his face right so it's like really dark it's the bit that hangs down the other side of his face and it's kind of like very dark blonde on this side so you can you can't really see it it's just all hair in there and then we got like some more hair spikes sticking out this side. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Like this all coming out, curling out. And once you get a feel for how to draw hair, you know, you kind of just make it up as you go as well. You, you figure out what way you want to hit the hair to sort of hang and then It's all just kind of black in here. Blonde and very dark brown or black. So, back of his head and hair that comes down onto his neck. So, it all travels down this way, right? So, we've got a lot more of these sort of bumpy texture lines here. And then it starts to like travel this way. And we get some hair that like bumps out there. So, there's like a gap. Here. Hair that kind of like spikes out these different directions and lots of textures and stuff. Back of his head, kind of down here. of his neck is like there so there's like all hair here okay so then the front of his neck down that way and the neck muscle going that way and then the collar of his shirt comes down here kind of comes down the middle and then that way and can we see the other side? Uh, we should, which is weird. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put it there. Let that be the other side. And then the tie so it bumps out from underneath there. Like a love heart kind of shape. 
and then the suit jacket right so the shirt kind of comes down and then the suit jacket bumps again and goes down that way and then the lapel of that here and then you've got those gaps in the jacket so it kind of goes here in back out and then down and then the front of his chest and the jacket and the suit and everything and the tie on the other side just here and then his shoulder comes out quite wide down down that way and then we have like the, sh the stitching for the sh shoulder of the suit jacket and then like some more folds and stuff just here and that's the main drawing so i'm gonna add like a little bit of smoke and stuff like little puffs of smoke it's real sort of stylized kind of line drawing of smoke and i kind of like it the way it's done so And these little spirals, kind of like Gear 5, kind of Luffy sort of stuff. And then up into that pointy part there. And then there's like extra edge lines on all these, like just to make it look a bit more smoky. And then I might put like some Ifrit sort of fire and stuff here. It would be. Mm -hmm. I need another image of that. Yeah, I could get make it up. I could gonna make it up. That's a cool. I'm looking at pictures of soon now from Demon Slayer. Sanji from One Piece. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.